Teresa High School, we strive to provide our students with an experience that will prepare them educationally, emotionally, and spiritually for life after high school. They become not only great students, but compassionate young adults who want to contribute positively to the world around them. To continue in this mission, we look to our community for support. Believe, Build, Become is St. Teresa's third capital campaign in 81 years. Thanks to generous donations, we've completed phase one and phase two of our campaign, making much needed upgrades and renovations. During phase one, we were able to replace the roof on our main building and tuck point the main building and gym. In phase two, we upgraded our electrical access, installed new restrooms and heating and air conditioning systems, and repaired the storm sewer. The next phase is construction of a new physical education annex. This isn't something we want, it's something we need. However, before embarking on the next phase, St. Teresa needs to have all the funds in place. As we speak right now, going into uh, phase three, which again, we need $600,000 more. If they're eligible for the match, it's about 900,000. It's gonna be about a $2.4 million uh, project, phase three. So we're getting close, but I, re I had really hoped that we could be digging this summer and, and going after it. Fiscally responsible, we need pledges or actual dollars before we could proceed and start digging a hole out there. Believe, build, become is more than a campaign name. It's what drives our students, teachers, administration, and campaign committee. Believe, college prep, life ready is our tagline and an important part of St. Teresa's overall philosophy, and it truly sets our school and students apart. Obviously, academics is number one. We know that. Uh, parents make a, a tremendous sacrifice to send their students to St. Teresa. They expect them to do well. Our teachers expect the students to do well. But let me tell you, extracurricular activities is important to students, high school students, and even families. And, uh, you know, over 85% of our students are involved in, in um, athletics and extracurricular activities. And our students are clearly able to balance education and extracurriculars. St. Teresa students have proven themselves academically with some of the highest ACT scores in Macon County, a 100% graduation rate, and a 100% acceptance rate to colleges and the military. And these accomplishments are all founded on a commitment to faith-based education. The faith-based plays a big role. Uh, being able to have mass here at school once a month, being able to have retreats. I've done the freshman retreat, I've done the sophomore retreat, an overnight retreat, and I've done four or five of the senior boy Kairos retreats. Uh, the things that come out of that, lifelong lessons. When you combine the faith-based aspect of education to St. Teresa's commitment to the development of the whole person, the result is young adults who are ready to take on the world and become the future leaders of our community. St. Teresa has made me like the best well-rounded student I could possibly imagine. I've been involved in student government, sports, and just extracurricular activities like clubs and things like that. And I think they've really molded a whole person rather than just an academic side of a person or just an athletic side of a person. The Catholic education, this whole process we put them through already, uh, they're in high demand. They continue to be highly demanding of them to force them to work hard, you know. But a lot of times the best part about these kids is you don't have to force them. They want to, to keep, keep doing that. Build. St. Teresa has built such a successful organization that we are outgrowing our current physical education space. It's still amazing that we've got to this point in this campaign already in only two short years, but the most important part of the capital campaign that we're undergoing right now is why we started that, and it's the locker room and the weight room addition. And, and I really think our, our students deserve it. So I know that there's a big freshman class coming in, and there's like, what, 15 up to 20 new players coming in, and we're only losing like six seniors. So it's going to be twice as more crowded next year. It's all it's moldy everywhere, and it's really a small, a small place. Sometimes the basketball players are lifting at the same time as the football players are, and just the way it's so compacted, it's hard to like do all your stuff. like consistently. We have kids that are, are incredibly skilled and talented kids and sometimes finding a way to push them or improve them. You have to be more creative because we don't have the space, um, we don't have the equipment, we don't have a lot of the facilities 
um, that we, that are needed. You know that that a lot of other schools around us that we're competing against day in and day out that they already have. We haven't really let our facilities bring us down, so to say. And I think getting newer facilities will help us increase our potential, and hopefully, it'll give people like a new site to St. T. From my perspective, being here as a player, going to college and playing college football, and then coaching at another high school. Our facilities are nowhere near where they need to be. Um, more really the locker area, the, the hygiene with the bathrooms and the, the shower facilities. Um, and obviously the weight room is undersized compared to what, what other schools have. Is that going to hold us back from getting our work done? Absolutely not. But the bottom line is what's best for our kids facility wise with the locker area and the bathrooms and things like that um, is probably my biggest concern. Become. With your help, St. Teresa students will have the potential to take the physical aspects of their education to the next level to truly become extraordinary. They put so much time and so much effort into getting better and to working and into improving. And, you know, I think it would be a huge step for them to say that somebody's valuing that and somebody's caring about that. Being able to take some pride in the facilities and what they have. I think that it's going to make people a lot more motivated to be in sports and maybe do better at sports when our facilities are better and that we have the facilities that we're going to get. And I know that they will be here when I'm gone, but I'm, I'm happy for the people who are younger than me that they're going to step in to some big shoes with facilities. I think the, the opportunity could be limitless. I think the energy around our school would change. I think there'd be a lot of excitement. Uh, what we're seeing in our community is Moreau, Forsyth, Warrensburg, Meridian, just in our conference getting new facilities, and then Decatur Public Schools also updating the facilities. And I think there's a lot of excitement at those schools. I think we, we already have a lot of excitement here at St. Teresa, but I think it can increase the excitement. And with space, I think that we can kind of take our training to that next level. Uh, our organization can be better. The way that we can challenge kids every day can eventually kind of take that next level because I don't think we're going to be as pressed for time or, or press for uh, space that, that we have then. It's time to take St. Teresa to the next level. We've come so far in two short years. With the new physical education annex, we can continue to attract quality students like Jake, Camila, George, and Shay. Then watch as they go on to accomplish great things, both at St. Teresa and in life. Thank you for your continued support of St. Teresa High School. Yeah.